Hi! You guessed it! Today we're going to draw a chihuahua, step by step. But before we draw this chihuahua, I want to tell you about the pictures. This is Chiquita. She is very special because she was our first family pet. Even though she's no longer with us, we still keep her in our hearts and our memories. Okay, let's get started. But wait! Before we get started, make sure you stay for the whole video because at the end, I have a little surprise for you. Now let's get started. First, draw a circle. That would be for the head of the chihuahua. Now, you can draw an oval. That would be for the body of the chihuahua. Draw a skinny oval. That would be for your hind leg of the chihuahua. Now, you can connect all these shapes that you drew. Draw the neck and the back part. Now that you're done with that, draw half of the skinny circle. That would be for your other hind leg. Now, you can draw a small circle. That's going to be for your snout. Draw a half circle. And just make the neck a tiny bit, a uh, tiny bit going outward instead. Now, you can start to draw some lines. Draw a line in the middle of the head. Draw one right here. And draw one right here. You can draw two curvy parts for the ears. Now, draw part of the tail. Don't connect the tail. Draw two ovals, just like the ones you drew for your hind leg, but just a bit smaller. Now, you can draw these two shapes. Now, we can get started to some harder sketch parts. Start with the hind leg. If you think your what you did was too skinny, then you can erase it and do what you think is the correct size. This one should be skinny because it's farther than it looks. And if it's skinny, then it will look just right. Now you can draw a paw. And draw the other paw. It should look just like the one you drew before. Now you can draw a, it kind of looks like a triangle, but without the bottom part. Now you can draw the paws. Draw two lines in the paws. You'll fix it after when you get to the real part. Doing the whole the real part and doing the details is much harder than you think. I bet you already learned that from the other videos that I did. Now 
you can do the mouth and the nose. You will fix it if it looks like a teddy bear face. Draw just two lines right there. And now you can get started with the details. First, start with the back. The back should be sloping a bit. And you can get to this part. You can fix the nose. To first erase what you did. You make the nose look like that. Draw a small white part and leave it white. That would be for the shine the sun shining on the top of the nose. Now you can do the mouth. The mouth is not as simple as it looks. Once you're done with the mouth, you can get to the bottom part of the mouth. The bottom part should be darkened. And remember on the Dachshund, you did some blending. So you're going to do some blending also on the Chihuahua. Now, you can go up and over the eye. And do the same thing for the other eye. Now you can get to the eyes. Draw a circle in the middle and shade all around the circle. And do the same for the other eye. And do it in the same position that you did it with the, the last eye. Now, you can draw the head part. The head should be a tiny bit smaller. And for the ear, I almost forgot that the ear is not just how it's drawn. It looks like this. It's a bit weird. Now you can shade in here. And you can draw the other ear and do it the same way you did that ear. You should start from the ba you should start from the mouth and get to the top. After you're done with the ears, you're going to move on to the paws. And one last thing before I forget. You have to draw this line. And on the other side too. Now that you're done with that, then you can draw your neck. Your neck should be coming from here. And something weird is right here. Instead of attaching and going right down here, it just stops right here. And this, and it doesn't even, this line doesn't even come. This is all there is. Well, you might see a bit part of it, but that's all that you would see. Once you've drawn the paw, then you can draw the other paw. This paw 
It seems like this paw is up in the air. Like the chihuahua is lifting it up to make another move. Now that you're done with that, you can go down here. It should be a tiny bit uh, skinnier. You don't want a fat chihuahua. Now that you've done that, you can move on to this paw. <coughs> this paw, you, I bet you can have just have guessed it, you're seeing the front of the paw, not the side, like you see on the other paws. Now you can draw those lines that you see on the paws. Shade in the shade in part of the leg. And remember, even if it doesn't look good, the shading doesn't look good, you will blend it with your blender if you have one. Now you can just do these parts and you can now erase your uh, sketch lines it's hard to erase where some details are I sometimes erase my details which is okay you can just draw them back up it will look better without all, with all the sketch lines now this paw is full of sketch lines You can just trace what you did and you can do the other paw. You just have to do the head part. Try not to get anywhere near the mouth and the nose. It must have been hard to draw those. You can draw the bottom floor with a ruler if, if needed. And if you accidentally got the feet wrong, like I did, then you can erase the bottom and try again. And if you want to stop here, then you can, if you don't have the blender, like I showed you with the Dachshund. If you do, then you can use it. You can blend the whole dog if you want. Just remember, don't get on many details. And if you think some things are too dark, you can just use your eraser. It's pretty much easier like that. Which I am going to use my eraser. For some things. You can just dot your eraser around here and around here. 
your wait. Just you have to do a bit of the head. I almost forgot. And you're done with your chihuahua. Ta-da! This is a surprise I promised you. This is my chihuahua. His name is Mr. Brown. He is pretty sweet and lovable. Even though he's deaf, we love him with all our hearts. And that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you soon.